Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, earth weather, and the top news as the sun continues choosing to fire in non-earth-directed positions. Let's start there at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day of our star was indeed very calm. Limb eruptions are small and not coming our way, leaving the top eruption threat as the plasma filament cresting center disk. It may be destabilizing just this morning, so watch for collapse or eruption today. Solar flaring remains very low, and that's not expected to change. Even without the Earth-facing quiet effect, those lone umbras wouldn't be going to do much. Well, folks, we can see the next southern coronal hole incoming from the left, but the opening departing to the right is expected to deliver a solar wind stream. It came on just this morning with a powerful density shock wave that will lead into a speedier stream here soon. We'll be looking for geomagnetic storms again as the electron flux precursor suggests we took a good whack at the outset. Eyes open. Top news today. What do you see here? Probably the same thing I see. Pretty colors and not much else. However, within these images, scientists have revealed that the trans-Neptunian dwarf planet OR-10 is way bigger than they thought. It is as big as 1,600 kilometers across, making it the third largest such outer system object. It's got a slow rotation of about 44 hours. Only Pluto and Eris outsize him in the far reaches. We also have an aesthetic story linked showing the eclipse shadow on Earth from this past week's eclipse visible from the eastern part of the world. Pretty cool. We're also getting info about an electrical fire at the yet unopened nuclear facility in Tennessee. While a Florida station saw a similar fire at the outset of this past week's geomagnetic disruption, this event happened at the end of it as the energy came down through the atmosphere, and just as the Earth spot to the west of it began pounding the southern United States. We've seen that western Earth spot electrical disruption take hold in Mumbai and Seattle over the last year as well, when the geomagnetic energy comes down through the atmosphere. And speaking of that Earth spot, what a nightmare unfolding down south. The tornadoes are dropping, the rain won't stop, the floodwaters are rising, and evacuations continue. Worst part of all, it's not done yet. The low pressure remains down there, and the storms are going to continue. By the way, powerful weather at the west coast as well, including hurricane force winds. Hopefully locals out there kept an eye to the left, and if not, rewind and see it again. If you are new here, please scroll through and watch all the free resources at suspiciousobservers.org, right on the home page. While our members can tell you all about the value of the premium material, the best way to know if you are truly interested is to run through those free videos there. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.05 a.m. in the Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.